the game just gets in like this. Um, okay. Ayo, hey, what's popping? Party people, I'm that one dude, Christopher Yusuf, and welcome to At Dead of Night. This is an oldie. This is a bit of an older game, about four years old by now. I think it came out back in 2020, late 2019. I cannot remember to save my life. But this is going to be a multi-part story, a multi-part series, just because I think there's like different stories that you have to figure out of like some dead people who lived in this hotel or who died in this hotel. I can't remember. I, I vaguely watch some YouTubers that I like to frequently watch play this, but it was mostly ambiance because I was like, I don't know. Something about this game never really struck me when it first came out. But I'm willing to give it a chance and actually find out, you know, what is going on? What's it all about? And actually play it for myself. So I'm both I'm going in basically blind. I don't know where the music is. There's the music. <laughs> okay. Game stats, review sightings, wow. Uh, there's a lot of shit going on here. That is loud! What the fuck? Can I go into the settings and, like, turn the volume down? Holy shit. Jimmy! Jimmy! Where the fuck are you, Jimmy? No! <laughs> yeah, and that's another thing too, is this game mixes like live action film, like Hello? live action film. Hannah, where with, are you? With the gameplay, and I. You and left me behind. It's so cool. Where are you now? What's this number? We're all booked into the hotel on the road. How far away are you? I don't know. I'll have to call when I get there. You can't. There's no signal. Well, it doesn't matter. Just go to bed, Hannah. Well, listen. Make sure you're not. Make sure I'm what? Don't you just hate when you're walking through the woods and you lose signal before you get to where you need to be? And and the person that you're on the <laughs> the person that you're on the phone with doesn't get to tell you the important information they wanted to tell you. Ah, Maya, I presume. Uh, oh, don't be alarmed. Uh, your friends booked you in. Uh, let me just check. Ah, yes, uh, room one hundred and one. It's all been paid for, so you don't have to worry about anything. You are very nice friends. Very nice. And there's uh, quite a few of you I see as well. Nice to see so many fresh, young faces <laughs> for a change. Hey bro, chill out, chill uh, out. You're here for the music festival in town, I presume? Yeah, we were supposed to be camping there tonight, but- <laughs> There's hardly weather for that, is there? <laughs> uh, will you be staying for breakfast? I don't think so. We'll probably just get going. That's fine. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, Maya, would you be interested in uh, the entertainment tonight? Tonight? Uh, starts around midnight, usually. It's, it's me doing it, actually. Comedy. I do this comedy character called uh, Hugo Hunt. He's sort of this comedic sociopath says things that you're not supposed to say and that sort of thing. It's quite popular with students. I don't think so. We're all just going to bed, I think. Are you sure I can't twist your arm on this? It's okay. I'd rather just go to bed. Sorry. Fine. 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 Which way are the rooms? Um, just take the lift. Uh, you're on the first floor. Okay, thanks. Oh, and, and then drop your key off in the box, uh, if you will, Maya, please, tomorrow. Okay. Hmm. Best show in town, and no takers. Who needs 
proper entertainment when you've got YouTube and my face or whatever. Stupid, uncultured. You don't like rude children. They're naughty. Don't start this again. I don't want to hear it, okay? Not tonight! Naughty children are bad eggs. They need to be taught a lesson. <laughs> shut up! Just shut up! You always do this. They're paying customers. They haven't done anything to you. Just leave them alone. Bad eggs need cracking. Whack them hard and crack their shell. Kick them down the stairs to hell. You know what you need to do, Jimmy. Show them who's boss. That's the way to do it. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm not about it. Are those my friends? Why didn't anybody like try to text me or call me when they got here? Does she not know how a rotary phone works? She didn't even try to call anybody. <laughs> Yo, why'd they put it in slow motion like that? Seaview Hotel has a dark past. Its ghosts have a story to tell. Jimmy! Use the ghost and spirit receiver to talk to them. They'll tell you Jimmy's secret. But Jimmy must hide the truth. At all costs. This is the device you found. Select this to switch it on. It can detect spirits' voices if you're near enough of them. Enough to them. If you're near enough to them. You need to find a compass and what? If you haven't seen it, go to the menu and watch the tutorial video before you continue. I think I should do that. This is Jimmy Hall, the proprietor and dangerous psychopath. <coughs> he has dark plans for Maya's friends. Maya has escaped. Jimmy knows he has to stop her. The chase. Jimmy hides wherever he can. Around corners. In the shadows. Waiting for you to arrive. Or sneaking up behind you. He can't hide on the stairs. Or on the ground floor. Or in the basement. Strategy. 
If Jimmy sees you move away, out of his line of sight. You can hide in any unlocked room. If Jimmy comes in, hide in a wardrobe. Or in the bathroom. Use the spyglass and guest room to see if Jimmy is outside. Call out to attract him to control where he goes. Find room keys and drawers. Lock Jimmy out of the rooms. Or lock him in. If you can escape first. <laughs> Quickly check rooms by locking, looking through keyholes. The dead. This game has a lot of mechanics. I don't. Jimmy has a murderous past. His victims never left. They still haunt the hotel. Use the spirit receiver to talk to them. Ask them about the things you've seen and uncover their stories. Asking about important connections will make them appear. Then follow the flickering lights and listen for strange sounds. Use a compass to guide you. When you're nearer, keep looking around. Or keep still and watch ahead. Maya's talent. She's got a talent? Maya can see into the other world. Move to a dimly lit place. Then use the mirror. You will see the location of important you know, items. The location of spirits. Connections between items and spirits. Sometimes Jimmy steals things if he catches you. Look for your spirit receiver in the first floor storeroom near the stairs. Find compasses and keys in guest rooms. Read the ghost receiver instructions for more advice on ghost hunting. Holy shit. That was a lot. Oh my god. Okay. You need to find a compass and cry and scrying mirror. Oh, uh, okay. Um Try to make a contact with the ghost. Start conversations with spirits by asking introductory questions. If there's no reply, there are no spirits around. A loud noise means there's a spirit in a high energy state. Is anyone there? Is anyone there? Okay, so there's no spirits. Oh shit. Um Bro, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm nervous. Okay. I guess we just go. I didn't mean that kind of go. We just move wherever. Locked. Locked doors mean safety. Oh, I'm nervous. I don't... Uh... So he can't come into the first floor, is what they said. In the introductory. Do I not do anything in here? I guess I don't. So he can't come in the stairs. I know I need to find a compass! I know what I need to do! Locked. Are all the door are all the doors in here locked until I can find a compass and a scrying mirror? We'll call the elevator then. Uh let's try the first floor. I don't know.
Okay, so things get pretty dicey here. We're no longer on the first floor. He can hurt us. I don't even know where to start, if I'm being honest. Can I unlock this door? How is it locked from both sides? Can you stop telling me what I need to find? Okay. Um. So I need to watch. Where the hell did I get a key for that room? Do I just have access to every room? Searched here. You found some old suitcases. Cool. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? All right. Old suitcases. Got it. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's dark. It's dark. It's dark. Can I turn can I turn on the lights? Lights? Too dark ahead. Yeah, um lights? I guess not. What is this? Open the notes. When you meet spirits, you can ask them questions. Pair their replies to make connections when they're alone. Okay. When you're alone. Okay. All right. Uh 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 Stop telling me what I need to find! I know what I need to do! You found an old cloth covered in blood stains. You found some trophies and awards. Oh, he won an award for being funny. <laughs> he's, not, he's not very funny. You found a bottle of diazepam medicine <coughs> and you found nothing cool so can I contact the spirits while I'm in the room is someone there okay Jimmy are you there? Jimothy? I don't like the idea that I can turn around at any moment. He, he could be there. Okay, I found the scrying mirror. Reveals hints and clues when used in dark places. You can only use the scrying mirror when the icon is visible. Either by the door in rooms or in the kitchen or in the ground floor kitchen. Use the mirror to see clues about where to go or which items to use next. It will also help you locate lost keys, compasses, and ghost box and the ghost box. Okay. Was that all? The show. Yo, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. That's very helpful. So the compass is in room 104. Jimmy, are you there? I'm coming for you. <laughs> See, if you scare them first, they can't scare you. How do I slowly open the door? Isn't there a way to like, isn't there a way to check the door before you leave? Found a key for a, a deadlock. Okay. Try to key. Try to try keys. Open the inventory. Face the door and select key. Doors can be locked or unlocked with the right key. Okay. So I need to find room 104, 120. I need to go further back. I need to go back. I think that would be this way.
God, I'm nervous. One oh six. Stop telling me what I need to do. One oh seven. The one oh four has to be this way. One twelve. Where's one oh four? One oh one. Like Zoe, one oh one. One oh three. One oh two. Where the fuck is one oh four? One oh five. One oh four. God damn it! Pissing me off. Why? Okay, well at least I know that there is a scrying mirror in here. Points to new towards nearby ghosts. That helps. You gonna teach me how to use that? Are you are you gonna teach me how to? Ah! <laughs> I'm going to abuse the fuck out of the scrying mirror. I'm just letting you know that. Crying child. Five Nights at Freddy's. LG. So I think I did not mean to do that. So I think once I found the um, the compass and the scrying mirror, Jimmy starts walking around. So I need to be extra careful now. The compass will point towards. I need to be careful. Who knows where he could be. I need to somehow make my way back to the elevators. Because the child is on floor LG. I don't remember which way I went though. Or which way I came from, I guess. This is also one of the places that Jimmy can't hide in. Is someone there? Who's there? Hello? 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 Is someone there? Is someone there? Hey! Oh, I did not mean to do that. He can't come down here though, right? Is someone there? What the hell? So the compass is pointing behind me. Now it's pointing to my right. So it should be here. I should be able to contact the spirit here, right? Is anyone there? Is someone there? Is someone there? Yeah, I got no clue. No! What the fuck? Do I need to go back down? You noted girl in the basement. Okay, what does that have to do with anything? What the fuck? 
I spent so much time down there. Do I go back and call her? Is someone there? Hi! 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 A spirit is making contact, so I try to... Okay, um, hi! What's your name? I'm Amy Bell. I'm Pat. Ask spirit about the things you've seen. Okay, um... You'll see their reply when selecting the item. I saw a girl in the basement crying. Who was she? It was me. A boy called Jimmy locked me in the basement. Then he started stealing things from me. Okay. Where did the bottle of diazepam come from? I don't know. I don't know why she would know anything about the needles. I found some trophies. Who won them? Voice vaguely heard. Amy didn't have an answer. Why is there a blood stained cloth in one of the drawers? It could have been mine. Okay. I saw some suitcases in a chest. Who did they belong to? I don't know. I don't know. Useless. The cloth. The girl. A boy called Jimmy locked me in the basement. Uh, match two replies. Pair sighting replies with item replies for faster progress. Oh! When you said Jimmy stole things from you, does that have something to do with the blood stained cloth? Maybe I try a different pair. <laughs> so I need to find more stuff to then ask her about. I need to try some different floors. The problem with this is that Jimmy is on the other floors. He's got to be somewhere. He wasn't on floor one, so he's got to be somewhere. Okay, rooms 201 through 216 are this way. Oh, it's dark. Why is it dark? Never mind. We're going this way. What's in that door? I want. I want to go through this door. It's not letting me go through that door. Am I hiding these storerooms, or am I just here? I'm so confused. It's too dark. Why is it so dark? Can I try the third floor? Okay, it doesn't seem too dark up here. Where is this motherfucker at? He hasn't been in any of the halls. Found a ring in a box. Found nothing. Found nothing. Found nothing. We love that. We love when we find nothing. Did this wet little girl? Did this wedding room belong to your parents? I heard a note. Jimmy is in the hall, in the floor, looking for you. Stay away from him. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, oh my God! Ah! Okay, okay, we're hiding. We're hiding. 
We're hiding. You don't see me. I'm not in here. I'm not in here. I'm not. I don't have the key for this room, so I can't lock him in. What the fuck? Copper wire. Another compass. Okay. All right. So I found the copper wire in the wedding ring, so... Fuck. Call the lift, 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 go. Go, 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 love him. Hover around, hover around! Ah! Ah! No. No. Those should be all the items that I need, because everywhere else was too dark for me to get to. So unless there's some sort of fuse box that I can interact with, there should be nothing else. Who's there? Hello. Hello. Uh, wait, I can ask her about this stuff. Amy didn't have an answer. I didn't ask her about any of this. Is it Amy? Yeah, I'm Amy. Okay. Who did the wedding ring belong to? I don't know. I don't know. Useless. What was the coil of wire used for? To tie her up. Okay, so I have the copper wire and the blood cloth. Pair of sightings and objects. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I see, I see, I see. Um, the cloth could have been mine and the wire. When you said Jimmy stole things from you, is that connected to what you said about the coil of wire? Oh my goodness! You're useless! Eventually. Yeah, I know, the crying girl. Oh, I don't know what items to use to pair, because she doesn't. 123. Room 123? I swear I checked all the rooms. <laughs> that is not correct. Jimmy, you're not up here, are you? That would be bad. 118. 119. 115. 120. I don't know how this hotel works. I've been in here, right? What the hell? I don't think he's on this floor. So I think we should be fine. Cause you'd be able to hear him, right? So let me just double check all these rooms and make sure that I found everything in every room. Yeah, okay, this was the room with the syringe and the... The trophies. Fuck. I gotta go into one of these rooms to hide.
Can you just can you just come? Show your face. What if I call out to him? Down here. Come on. Come on. I know exactly where he is. Unless he's moved, I know where he is. He's not still there, is he? Okay, okay, I think we're good, I think we're good. Go, 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 LG, LG. Oh. Ah. It's getting warm in here. I gotta open the window. All right, little girl. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Is it Amy? Yes, it's Amy. I'm Amy. Who did the child's purse belong to? Probably me. Perfect. So we're gonna pair the sighting of you and the purse and ask when you about said it. Jimmy stole things from you. Is that connected with what you said about the purse? Okay. All right. So what is that? Show connections. Okay. So I think we're all set down here. We can go up to the ground floor now because we saw that in our little vision. Try and figure out what the fuck is going on. That was stressful. I never want to be that stressed again in my life. You know to Jimmy stealing from Amy. Okay. Jimmy? No, I did not mean to do that. But he doesn't come down here, so it's fine. Is it Amy? Yes, it's me. I saw you shouting to Jimmy to give your toy back. Why did he take it? Um, I don't have the toy, but I could still try the pair. What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, does that have something to do with the blood-stained cloth? Yeah, I figured. Um, okay. We'll add this to the pair, and then... We'll add that. What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, is that connected to what you said about the coil of wire? Oh, the purse. Maybe? No, that was what was stolen from her. I'm stupid. Uh, so I don't have the toy. I don't think that I can pair anything with it just yet. And I don't want to keep using my crying. I don't want to keep using the scrying mirror. Because that feels like cheating. I'm going to go back to the first floor. And I'm going to check all the rooms. Because after I found the scrying mirror and the compass, I was just like, okay, time to move on.
and I didn't finish checking all the rooms. So I could definitely be missing some stuff in the rooms. I really hope... Really hope that Jim Bob's not still up here. Fuck! He's still here! I think I'm safe. What? If you're gonna do something, then do it! I'm not scared. Compass. Chef's hat. Oh, this looks like a new room. Okay. Jimmy? Sure you are. I believe you. Okay. Key labeled storeroom. Okay. That's quite a bit of stuff. I'm gonna call out to him and I just want him to walk away. Hey! You gonna check this room? Okay, he's going that way now, so I can go that way. That'll work. I can work with that. Fuck! Shit! Nothing. Damn it. Did I try 113 already? I did. It's dark. I need to start putting the notes in my phone. Okay. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... In the notes of my phone, I'm going to write what floor I'm on and what rooms are dark and what rooms I've already found items in and what rooms I have not checked. So floor one, 113 is a dark room. And then I know that floor 120 is a dark room as well. Or no, I've checked that one already. Floor 120 had nothing. <sighs> okay. Okay. I didn't check all the floors on one, but I'm going to try two. Because he's on one, so I'll be able to explore two a little bit before he comes up there. Or at least I should be able to. Okay, it's too dark. Why can I not... This is another storeroom. Is there anything? Is there anything that I can click on while I'm in here? I think I'm just in here. So it's too dark. Floor two, I cannot check. It's too dark to do anything up here. I don't think these are rooms I haven't checked yet. 101. Found childish violent drawings. Where's the teddy bear? Label stair one. Okay, so we can now get to floor one from the stairs. That works.
I gotta remember that I checked 101. Found a key for 102. He's on this floor now. So just keep that in mind. 102 is checked. Okay, I'm just running across the hall. I'm just gonna run across the hall. Run across the hall. Run across the hall. 103 is a dark room. Cool. Ooh! I'm here. Uh oh, that's close. Okay. All right, you're gonna go that way, right? Yeah, you're gonna go that way. Yeah, okay. No! No! Oh no! I didn't even get to unlock the stairs! Oh no! <laughs> I got carried away. I got too carried away. So what do I have? Did he take all my items? I still have the keys. Okay. That'll work. That works for me. What room am I in? One oh seven. Oh, I'm all turned around now. Oh, I need my device. Ah, here it is. Okay. I'm gonna collect my device and I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Oh, wait, unlock the door. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't know how much good that actually does for me, but we're going to give it a try. Because I want to say that the um, unlocking the doors from the stairs or going through the stairs is a better option. Down here. Fuck. Stop doing that. It's a better option because you have the opportunity to make a quieter entry. When you take the stairs, it makes the ding. Like the doors are loud as hell. The ding is loud as fuck. So Jimmy knows that you're there. If he's on the first floor or something, he'll know that you're there. But if you take the stairs, you can quietly enter. And it's going to take him a little longer to get up to whatever floor it is that you're on. So if I were on floor three, took the elevators down to one, or if I was on, I don't know, I, whatever. Is someone there? Hello? Is it Amy? So let's ask her. Who drew those violent pictures? The boy used to draw them. The boy. The boy. Who does the sword belong to? Jimmy had it. I didn't like it. I found a bottle of turpentine and a lighter. What were they for? Okay, so it probably has something to do with the bear. He probably used that to light up the bear. Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? I don't know, but children shouldn't drink alcohol. I agree. I agree, children shouldn't drink alcohol. Who did the chef's hat belong to? I don't know. 
All right, let's start pairing stuff. Jimmy stealing from Amy, and the turbine sign and lighter. What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine and lighter? Okay. Okay. No, oh, don't make me go to one. Don't make me go to one. I don't want to go to the first floor. I want to... Ooh, I can take the stairs now. I want to try to finish the stories before I end the video. So I want to... It's gonna, these are going to be longer videos, but I, I think I can do it. I think I can keep you guys entertained long enough. Look at that. Smooth. I'm a smooth criminal. So my compass is pointing this way. But it's also pointing that way. Where the hell am I going? Is anyone there? Nope, nope. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Room 109? Did I check 109? I did not. The 109 had nothing. But let's see. Our girl is in here. Is anyone there? No! Stop! You bitch! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you that. That was very rude of me. You noted Amy holding a toy on fire. Is it Amy? Yes, I'm Amy. Can you not scare me again, please? I saw you holding a toy on fire. What happened? I've got the sword. Something about a sword on, on level two. Okay. All right. Okay. Is he even on this floor? I don't think Jimmy's here yet. We should be fine. Little crying child. I hear the cries. What room? Oh, I didn't label what the rooms had, though. The crying is coming from out in the hall. My compass is pointing straight. And then I get over here, and it starts going bonkers. This has to be the spot. I'm going up to two, because something, there was something about two. Are 
Are the lights finally on up here? My thing is tweaking out again. Is anyone there? I'm here and knocking. Okay, 218. Stop the knocking, please. Make the voices stop. Deadlock for 218. Nothing. 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 So these are all new rooms. I haven't gotten a chance to check these yet. Marked dangerous. Eighteen checked. And two. What am I into? Seventeen. I'm just gonna use it. Ah. Uh. Crying child, I know. Floor one. It's an old man. Two seventeen, two eighteen. Yeah, I'm there. I'm already there. Why did that not happen before? <laughs> Why did that not happen before? Is it Amy? Yeah, it's Amy. I saw you outside a room. Something frightened you. What was it? Why is there an old heater marked dangerous? I don't know. Okay. So we're going to pair this and the sword because she didn't like it and when see what said she says. you needed a doctor, but Jimmy threatened you to stay. Does that have anything to do with what you said about the sword? Where are your parents? Why are you at this hotel by yourself? He used the alcohol on her. Jimmy had stopped Amy's hand from hurting. He made a promise. Okay. All right, so he's on this floor now. So what was the floor two thing? Jimmy? Shit. I fucked that up. That was, that was bad. I fucked that up. Oh! oh. Alright, 
I can do this. I can finish out Amy's story. I can figure out what happened to her and I can move on. Room 112. I already found the alcohol. Okay. That didn't scare me that time because I was expecting it. I was expecting that. Is it Amy? Mm. Yes, it's me. I saw you drinking something. You didn't seem to like it. What was it? Add that, and then add the whiskey bottle, and ask about it. When you said the medicine tasted horrible, does that have anything to do with what you said about the whiskey bottles? Maybe. She told me to keep drinking it. It was horrible. But then I started to feel strange. The stairwell. I gotta check the stairs. Yeah. Hiya, Jimmy. Hi, James. Hi, William. No, that's Billy. I don't think we're meant to be on the first floor. I think the second floor is where we need to go. Nope, didn't like that. Didn't like that one bit. Mm-mm. All right. Well, he definitely knows that we're up here. And this is indeed where we're supposed to be. So we sit and wait for a while. Jimmy, I'm Dr. Bose. I'm just here to have a little chat, okay? Thank you, Jimmy. I won't be long. Then I need to go into this room. Heater. Is someone there? Hello. Hello. What's your name? Doctor Bose. Doctor Bose. I'm a clinical psychiatrist. You sure you don't make speakers? <laughs> Get it? I saw a man knocking on a door, telling Jimmy he was there to help. Who was it? Who the hell is Harvey? I saw Amy drinking something. She didn't seem to like it. What was it? I wasn't there then, but I think she drank alcohol. Okay. I saw Amy outside a room. Something frightened her. What was it? Why is there an old heater marked dangerous? I don't know. You don't know anything. I saw the little girl, Amy. None of these ghosts know anything. Fire. What happened? Her hand was burnt quite badly, but Jimmy thought it was all a joke. Who drew those violent pictures? Who does the sword belong to? I saw Jimmy playing with it. I thought it was dangerous. As most people would. I found a bottle of turpentine and a lighter. I don't know what, what I'm supposed to do with the storeroom key. <coughs> You'd better ask Jimmy. 
I don't think I want to talk to him. Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? They were probably from the bar. Who did the chef's hat belong to? Jimmy found it and put it on. I saw the little girl shouting to Jimmy to give her toy back. Why did he take it? Who did the child's purse belong to? We know these things already, but I think I just want to ask him through all the questions. What was the coil of wire used for? Just to get it out of the way. It belonged to Jimmy. He always kept it in his pocket. He didn't tell me what he used it for. Who did the wedding ring belong to? I don't know. I saw a girl in the basement crying. Who was she? The daughter of the hotel guest. Jimmy was attached to her. So then who's the mother of Amy? Where where, where are your parents? Where did the diazepam come from? It can help treat impulsive behavior in some people. So I need to add that with a pair of this information, I think. Maybe. I found some trophies. Who won them? I don't know. Why is there a blood-stained cloth in one of the drawers? It was mine. I kept it in case I needed it as evidence. Whoa. Whoa. I saw some suitcases in a chest. Who did they belong to? I don't know. Okay, so we have a couple of things that we can add to the pair. We ought to add this and then ask him about the cloth, maybe? When you said Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind, does that have something to do with the blood-stained cloth? Okay. So then we're going to add that to the pair and that. When you said Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind, does that have something to do with what you said about the diazepam? Man! Okay, pair this with... You didn't have an answer for that. When Ask him about the drawings? Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind. Does that have anything to do with what you said about those violent pictures? I gotta go back to one. No. Okay. All right. I have been recording for a little too long. Nineteen percent of the story. Oh, this is gonna take a. While. Okay. I have been recording for way too long. I thought that I could get Amy's story done and then move on to a different person's story, but I see that you're gonna have to figure them all out at the same time. So. I'm running out of time. I have been recording for too long. I am enjoying this though. I'm enjoying figuring it all out. I'm enjoying the hunt. It's, oh, it's interesting. That's for sure. Um, thank you, Taryn Drink Walter, for suggesting this game. I'm definitely gonna keep playing this. Uh, this may be the next video that I play since this is gonna be a bit of a longer series. I may go back to like the kind of format that I did with my longer games. If you want to see my last video, which was a game called Supermarket Simulator, I had a lot of fun with that one. That'll be linked somewhere around here. Check that out. And then I'll let YouTube decide what you guys watch next. That'll also be linked somewhere around here. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big body out. Jimmy.